standing kettlebell halo. So you can do this from a kneeling position to advance this move, but if, so if you want to do that today, go for it. I will add that into your workouts if I want to make that progression for you, but this is going to be your baseline and of course coming to your knees is going to level you up. So the whole point of the kettlebell halo, I'm going to explain what it's all about and then I'm going to show you what this is so you can skip forward if you've already learned about it before. The whole point is to get full shoulder mobility and to activate your triceps over anything else. So you're going to bring your belly up into a goblet position and then you're going to bring it as close to your head as possible. I'm going to forewarn you, if you have a bun in your hair, it is going to be a disaster by the time this workout is done um, because of this move specifically. Been there, learned that lesson many times for all of us. So goblet position and then you're going to keep your bell as close to your head as you possibly can, even to the base of your skull. And when you get back here, I want you to check your elbows. Can you pull them back in and bring it back together, landing back in your goblet position, having your lats fire on. So now with the bell, so you can see what I'm talking about, this is where I recommend go lighter to start. And then as you feel solid, start to increase your weight, but definitely start light just to test out the range of motion that your upper body has. So bells up, goblet position, goblet cleans, then you're going to bring it all the way around nice and close to your skull, as close as your body will get. Now remember, when you get to the, the nape of your neck, you're going to bring your elbows back together, okay? And then you're going to come all the way back around the other side, landing back in your goblet position. Now, if I have this set for reps for you today, that doesn't mean per side. So that means that you have to go in one direction and then the other, coming all the way back around. Now, the biggest thing of a halo that I don't want to see or... I can't see because you're at home, but I don't want you to do because it's not effective is the angel halos that I see all the time. So goblet position and then bringing your bell up and just doing a little angel halo. This is lovely, but really doesn't do much for you in range of motion wise or in your triceps. Okay. So I want you to really focus on, can you get some serious depth out of that bell and then bring it all the way around, keeping your body as the pillar and your bell as a thing that's moving around you. So if that's just not available for you for elbow mobility, shoulders, your back, grab your water bottle. Skip the weight, grab a water bottle. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Of course, your water bottle is probably going to be wider and longer than your kettlebell will be, but it's going to help with that range of motion and bringing that movement around and getting some movement back into the upper body instead of going, ah, screw it, I can't do that move, right? So bring in a water bottle instead, or you're more than welcome to clasp your hands together and practice the range of motion, seeing how close you can get to the nape of your neck and planting back into your goblet, allowing your lats to fire back on. So that is your kettlebell halo regular version. Remember, if you want to advance this, go ahead, drop to your knees. If you need to regress or you need to modify this, grab a water bottle or clasp your hands together, hold onto a shoe, something super lightweight and give it a practice. Let's get some range of motion back into the upper body that normally feels really tight because we live a life like this, right? Kettlebell halos, let's do it. Let's get some range of motion back into your upper body.